Today I'm going to walk you through the very simple steps of actually setting up an Etsy shop and then connecting it to Printify so that you are all set and ready to go to build your print on demand business. And I do actually have a second video, which I will link down below in the description on all of the different Printify settings to make sure that your Printify account is fully set up. Now in this video, we're just going to do the simple steps of actually setting up the shop and the connection. If you take your Etsy print on demand business just one step at a time, I promise you this is going to be one of the most simple things that you ever do, right? It is going to take a dedication and discipline, but if you can implement those two things, then you are going to be well on your way to success with your very own business. And if you want a bonus tip on how to ensure your success by picking winning products, make sure that you stay until the very end and I'm going to give you a priceless tip that is going to guarantee your success. So let's jump right in and set up that Etsy shop together. First and foremost, you want to sign up for Etsy through an affiliates link. And I do have one linked down below in this video for you because when you sign up through an affiliate, you get 40 listings for free. Otherwise, it's going to cost you 20 cents per listing for every item that you list. So this is gonna help you to get off to a great start and get in the flow of listing without having to pay. If you've already signed up and you didn't go through an affiliate, you can still grab the code on the end of that link, email Etsy customer support and let them know um, that this is the person that referred you with this code and they should still credit you for those first 40 free items. So to open your shop, you're going to need a Gmail account and email and I recommend setting up an email specifically for your store. So once you click open a shop, go ahead and type your email address in there and hit continue. Add your name and create a password. Then Etsy is going to just ask you some simple onboarding questions. So go ahead and click let's do this. And then you can select whichever one is most relevant for you. For most people, it's probably going to be, I'm just starting to sell for the first time ever. So you can select that unless you already have a business that you're expanding upon and then hit next. Then if there's anything in particular that you feel that you want to know about from Etsy, go ahead and select whichever ones that you feel you're interested in receiving information about. And if there aren't any, then you can just skip this question. And then you can go ahead and start your shop. Click there. Next, you're going to go ahead and set your shop language, your shop country, and shop currency. And I would recommend putting where you live here, and then for shop currency, put your own currency. And as it says, the currency you'll use to price your items, and then shoppers in other countries will automatically see prices in their local currency. We do have quite a few sellers from the UK in our Facebook group, and there is a whole thread about how to set this up if you're in the UK. So I highly recommend joining my free Facebook group, which is linked down below, and you can uh, just use the search bar of the group and find that thread. So you can learn from other sellers that have um, dealt with selling in the US only, but live in the UK. Next, you wanna go ahead and name your shop. And just like it says here, don't sweat it. You can draft a name now and change it later. And I always like to stress, I am not an overthinker. I love to keep it simple and keep things moving. Do not get stuck on the name, um, but you can use tools like ChatGPT or free business name generator to help you come up with a name. So go ahead and type your shop name there. And just note that it needs to be between four and 20 characters and no spaces or special characters. And then hit save and continue. And Etsy actually asks you to create your first listing. Now at this point, most people don't have listings ready. So I just recommend uploading any photo that you have and filling out every single section of this listing, just adding anything in there so that you can move to the next step and then you can delete this listing once you're in your account. I just added a graphic that I have on my computer. I titled it Test. Just selected anything from the drop-down menus here. 
I went ahead and just selected random colors and then put any numbers in the box for the length and width, occasion, birthday, holiday, Christmas, whatever you want to put, uh, description, test, price, $1.00. And then as you scroll down for shipping, I just selected all enter fixed prices manually, United States, made up a zip code and processing time one business day, shipping service USPS first class, free shipping, and I deleted all other locations, put any number in the box for weight and size, and then you should be good to go hit save and continue. And you may get this at the top that says you must supply all required attributes if that's the case. Scroll back through, see if you missed anything at all. And if you did, you can fix that and move past it. Sometimes Etsy will just do that to you repeatedly and you can just hit it for a second time to move past that. So then it will ask if you want to create more listings or do this later. Go ahead and do this later. You will get an email from Etsy in order to confirm your account. So make sure you check your email and follow the instructions in that email. If you didn't get the email, then up here you can ask them to resend it. That's a very important step. And then you want to fill out all of your information for getting paid, including the country where you are located. And for tax purposes, are you an individual or a registered business? Whichever one applies to you, select that. As it says here, most sellers on Etsy fall into this category of individual. And then go ahead and fill out your personal details and where your taxpayer address is located. Then you can hit save and continue. And you're actually going to connect your bank account with Plaid so that you can actually get paid into your account directly from Etsy. And then you're also going to set up some billing. And this is going to be a credit card that's on file to pay your fees, your Etsy fees. Now, if you do things really, really well, then your fees will most likely come out of the sales that you're making. And so... You know, for me personally, I don't ever get Etsy fees on a credit card because they just come out of my sales directly and then I'm automatically paid whatever is left over. You want to go ahead and set up your shop security and you are all good to go. Then the next step is to go ahead and set up your Printify account. I do have a link for this directly below this video along with a coupon code that's going to give you 30 days of premium for free. So be sure to use that link and then click uh, get started for free. So go ahead and use the same Gmail that you just set up for your Etsy store and then create a password, select that you're not a robot, and then sign up. And go ahead and select whatever describes you best. I'm just going to uh, select other. And I'm going to go ahead and type in here Etsy store and then hit next. What is your main objective? For most people, it will be start my first online business. And then what would you like help with? You can pick whichever is relevant to you. I'm just going to select I don't need help at the moment. How did you find out about Printify? YouTube. And then what would you like to do now? Connect your store to Printify. So select this. Then it's going to show my new store and hit connect. Etsy is one of the first sales channels here. So go ahead and click connect to Etsy. And then you can go ahead and scroll down and give Printify permission to connect your Etsy shop to Printify. So click Grant Access. All right, so it says success. You connected an Etsy store. Check out this article on how to start selling. And then they have a full article for you here on how to list your first product and everything that you need to do. I will be having more videos on my channel here on how to complete a full listing. Um, so be sure that you are subscribed and go through my past playlist so that you have all the details that you need to succeed. So that was the basics of setting up your Etsy store and your Printify account, making sure that they are all connected. Now, there are a lot of additional steps here to set up your Printify account to make sure the settings are correct and you have a card attached so that you can pay for your 
orders to be shipped to your customers. This video will be way too long if I include all of that in this video, so I'm going to link the part two down below in the description so you can continue setting up your account. So now that your shop is all set up and Printify is connected, you wanna make sure that your Printify settings are correct. You have a, a form of payment linked so that when you generate sales on Etsy, you're able to pay for the wholesale price of the product that will be shipped to the customer. So to access all of those settings, I'm going to link the Printify settings video down below. And now for that bonus tip on how to ensure your success with Etsy print on demand. So the number one thing that you need to keep in mind is that you actually need to be listing products that customers are actually searching for. That's one part of the equation. The other part of the equation is you wanna make sure that there's not a lot of other sellers that you're going to be competing with. Competition is a huge thing on Etsy, and if you look through a lot of YouTube content, you will see some people saying that it's saturated, and that is because those people don't know how to do what I'm telling you right now, which is find winning products where there are pockets on Etsy that customers are searching, but not enough sellers fulfilling the need. And we do product research using a tool called Sale Samurai, and this is a Chrome extension that you can install on your browser and then that is going to allow you to find the keywords that customers are typing in to find products that are low competition. If you master this part, your success is pretty much guaranteed if you stick with it. I have tons of other sellers that I have worked with utilizing this tool and those who are listing daily following that process are making lots and lots of sales. So as soon as you are finished with the second video on the Printify account settings, make sure you go to the third video on how to use Sales Samurai to do your product research. So I am thrilled to have you a part of my community here. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you're notified every single time I upload a new video every single week with content to help you succeed. So high five to your success and I will see you in the next video.